जी वेलकम बैक टू लीगल मैथ्स हम आपके जो क्वेश्चन आ रहे थे उनका आप जवाब दे दें अगर आप वॉच करें एंड सम कॉल्स विद एवरी से उनके हम अभी क्वेश्चन के जवाब दे दें प्लीज कंटिन्यू टू पर क्वेश्चन फॉरवर्ड आप हमारा ई मेल एड्रेस भी आ रहे हैं उस पर भी आप हमें कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं वी डू गिव ई मेल्स आंसर्स बैक सो लेट्स यूज बिकम बाई बिगिन बाय मिस अशरफ जिनका क्वेश्चन पहला आया था हमारे पास तो वही अपना क्वेश्चन ये कह रहे थे वाइफ के बारे में जो दो हजार नाइन में आ चुकी थी and uh, so obviously she had for indefinite leave to remain oh, she needs to complete the five years for this five way. years of lawful residence yeah. before you're entitled to uh ILA uh, for indefinite leave to remain so i should say about god wife needs to complete the five years and obviously they've got a child they can apply for the british yeah, passport yeah it's got thoda sa batayein shayad uska yahi hai ke um as agar aap khud idhar visa pe aaye hain whatever kind of visa it is but you uh, subsequently managed to get ILR so there is no immigration restriction yeah uh, on you and then you have a child then that child can automatically just apply for of british course. passport so exactly so the amne jaise bataye why five years she needs to complete hmm. and a child can apply for the british passport that's right so it's not a problem and the second call jay did project it and she's talking about the spouse visa and she got uh, refused on the financial requirements Now this one's a very much yeah the topical discussion we're having That's 18 thousand right, yeah. 18600 is a requirement if mm. you don't fulfill that one it will be refused now mm. again it's a situation you we got now obviously you can talk a little bit about it probably yeah, an appeal on yeah. that one but likely it will be refused but unless you've got the ground yeah, to yeah strong evidence why if you think that uh, you'd been hard done by yeah. the home office and you got strong reasons or evidence to produce that well you did meet the income yeah. criteria could it be that they had uh 15000 or 16000 but some of it was in the form of savings yeah. and that that's not been taken into or considered then you legitimately have a right of appeal mm. but uh from practical point of view uh i would like to stress that if you're looking for filing an appeal the cost implication of lodging that yeah. appeal and uh instructing a solicitor or barrister and then uh weighing that up against a fresh application a fresh application it will be it, yeah. uh much more simpler uh you already know what are the reasons for refusing so if you can sure. overcome those reasons for refusal a fresh application would be a uh, more a uh, plausible uh, way absolutely uh, i think uh, one of the other things that prab jako ye batate chalte the unless she was meeting that financial requirement and it's been in a mistake by the ukb board yeah. agency then she should do the uh, appeal otherwise yeah. a fresh application yeah hey, obviously we don't have the full facts of the case so chale call le lete hain because wo shamil kar lete hain hello uh let the call drop ho gayi uh so prabhu ji if you watching the program then aapko bata rahi we just explain that you probably the best thing for you to do will be a fresh application in the, the circumstances unless you did meet that financial requirement which is the 18600 pounds um otherwise like my colleague just mentioned it may be better that you do the fresh application g let's get this call hello g hello no stopped g jab hamare paas call aa rahi hai shamil kar de hello okay call been dropped uh do apologize dobara call kar le hum ye sawal jawab pe chal rahe the aap zarur call kare we'll try to answer your questions saima ki jo call aayi thi 14 year long lawfully long uh, residency for non community and for na- naturalization um in that one you 14 years you've done you need basically is another year another year before you can apply for the i allow so she needs to wait a call aa rahi hai hum shamil karte hain hello 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 i think call drop ho rahi hai to apologize hello ji hello ji assalam alaikum kaun kahan se ji welcome to the program aapka जी जी बात कर रही हूं बहुत इधर से गई पाकिस्तान जी ओके ठीक है जब मैं 3.5 साल बाद वापस आई हूं वस्ती हो गई थी तो वो एयरपोर्ट पे रिमोट उन्होंने मुझे दिया था तो मेरी शर्त हम्म अच्छा आप अपना नाम बताएंगी प्लीज आप जोर से बोलें नाम बताएं आप अपना नाम बताएं हेलो like the call drop or gay i think she came into the uk she said and um, overstayed and basically wants to uh, know which category she comes under thank you aapka question hamare paas aa gaya hai ek aur call aa rahi hai hum shamil kar lete hain hello 
No, God drop, okay. Let's just go into the question for Simon. Simon, because basically she has to do the one year, has to wait before she can apply for the indefinite leave to remain. Go on, Arias, Gee, hello. Hello. Look at that call drop, okay. This is, this is do apologize, call it Arian, drop Arian. <laughs> Continue to call, no problem. Again, so Simon Kid uh, is there anything you want to add on to that one? Yeah, I think they she had a, a, a secondary question in relation to yeah, receiving disability. disability and what's the implication for a carer. So uh, anybody who is lawfully resident in UK uh, can uh, apply for care allowance as long as yeah. there's no immigration restrictions uh, imposed upon them. That's so right. Yeah. So I think basically um, anyway, that person has to be residing in the United Kingdom yeah. for with, no with no immigration restrictions, restrictions onto that. Yeah. So Simon, uh, of course, so I'll go John Milge, uh, if you're watching the program, um, if you need to apply for the indefinite leave to remain, you do have our details, do, do give us a call. Um, we had Mr. Anwar Sabja call ID. Uh, he mentioned about receiving disability, living, uh, living on, on, but on a high rate. Higher rate, and yes. What kisi ko bolana jaate from Pakistan? Now the the rule is clearly that that person cannot they cannot call anybody from he Pakistan. He specifically mentioned uh, yeah. wife. Yeah, know? wife. So he can actually he sponsor can call the yeah, wife, wife. Uh, and there is no bar on mm. him. He won't have to meet the income uh, threshold, uh, but the wife will have to meet. The English language test. English language. Yep. You know, there's no uh, yep. e exemption for that. Absolutely. Unless she's uh, over 65. Yes. So yeah. clearly for this one, because it's, it's, it's his wife, he's on disability care allowance, he's, he will be exempt mm -hmm. from financial requirement. Mm -hmm. And the wife, go basically, the language is mentioned, yeah. if you got some um, age factor, if age you're over factor, 65, yeah. or yeah. you yourself have some yeah. disability, yeah. then you don't have to do a life in UK yeah. test. So, I'm going to say, i to she can't come to UK because you are receiving on a higher disability rate. Um, but life in UK test, you will have to pass. That's a very must. Um, Ro Roma Rona Romna, yeah. she called as a student yeah. living as partners together. Yeah. Um, again, on this one, in Kita Yoga, she can the baby you can apply yes. for a British passport. Yes. Anything else we can add on to that one? Yes. Uh, once the the child has been registered as British, then she would be able to make yeah. a uh, fresh application. Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome to the program. Hiya. Yeah. Um, I've just wanted to take your advice for regarding my immigration. Okay. And can I have your name, please? Yeah, my name is Cameron. Okay, Cameron, thank you for coming on Legal Matters. And can you give us your question then, please? Uh, basically, what happens? Uh, I um, granted ILR on the basis of fourteen years. Okay. And uh, um, then I wait uh, in another one year and I apply for naturalisation. Yeah. And they refused. The reason they said that the last five years I didn't had a legal uh, a state legal status here. But my question is, uh, meantime, uh, from uh, almost fourteen years. Uh, I applied asylum, they haven't decided, it's, uh, it's refused, but they didn't uh, took it to the appeal, what the Home Office was saying according to their record, they said, we decided your appeal, yeah. in your absence, we, we, we cannot, cannot trace uh, what outcome of the appeal is this. And that thing that stretch up to 14 years, and then once the 14 years, I apply one of the of 14 years, yeah. I granted a like, uh, yellow. And then I waited him on another one year, and yeah. after that, uh, um, they refused my naturalization. Okay, Cameron, uh, thank you for your call. Uh, we've got your question. Uh, can you watch your program? Uh, then obviously, we, want, we would like you to uh, email some of the stuff to us. But can you watch your program? I'm not good job, then. We'll give you the answer okay. within the program. Okay, thank you for okay. that. Another, uh, sorry, yep. another thing is this, uh, because uh, they refused it, I uh, uh, applied for a reconsideration, uh, give them all of the evidence, okay. and uh, just wait for them. Okay? Okay, okay. Thank, thank you very much. much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Um, Tiga, I think um, the question about uh, Romana, because your discussion with Jalrada, were you that, I think we answered that one, she can, the child can be yeah. applying for a British passport. That's right. P and on the basis of the child being a British, Obviously, she'd be entitled, she be entitled as well. But if you're watching the program, do contact us. And we can give you the proper guidance as to uh, how you can 
um, make your stay legalized in the United Kingdom on the basis of your child. So if you're watching, give us a call, take our email address. Um, Kamran Kijotiabi, um, questioner. I mean, he got this lawful uh, uh, I, long residency to stay for 14 years, yes. and he's been refused. Now, obviously, he can't go for a judicial review. Mm. Well, what, w what he's done is basically he's received a refusal letter, and he's tried to address some of those objections, yeah. and he's uh, submitted an uh, application for reconsideration. So, yeah. pending that decision... Yeah. Yeah. Hello? 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 Hi, welcome to the program. Yes, I'm Hello? 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 Okay, you are actually on air. Can I have your name, please? Hello? Hi. Can you give us your name, please? So we know who we're talking to. Um, my name is um, Ikra. Ikra, okay, Ikra. Uh, can you tell us your question? Uh, well, you know, my, um, I've called a spouse over and um, he just used me and um, he got a definite stay and he's like uh, left me. Okay. How long ago was your spouse came over to this country? About four and a half years ago. Four and a half years ago. Okay, and um, so when did you actually split up with your marriage? Um, he actually used me and uh, he got the stay and then left me. Okay, fine. But when did he leave you? Or what period? When did he... You didn't give us a time when he, when he came to the country? Did he come in 2012, 13? When did he come? He came in 2010. Okay, 2010, yeah. And, um, and so when did you separate you from him? Well, you were actually separated for, uh, um, after a year. After a year? Yeah. Okay, so... Well, he got, like, dodgy papers and dodgy work, and he got a different stay. Okay, so you're saying then, when the application went for for uh, for the spouse to remain in the United Kingdom, that was... And uh, he... You never fill that part in where you're living together? That part was not done by you? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Icarus, just keep watching the program. Inshallah, we'll give you the answer in the program. And obviously, you can contact us off air as well, because we like to talk to you. But obviously, on air, we won't be able to discuss much about your circumstances of the confidentiality. Yeah. But do call us, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, just Shahid, obviously, we'll talk about the Icarus and how she mentioned it. Hello? 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 Assalamualaikum. Hello, Sam, you're welcome. Who's Hi, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about the legal program. You can tell me about your legal matters. Okay, welcome, Mohammed Haroon. My question is that I was able to remain for 3 years ago. तो ये मेरी 2013 को जनवरी को खत्म हुई है तो उसके बाद एक साल बाद मुझे दोबारा फिर तीन साल की मिली तो मेरा ये क्वेश्चन है कि मेरे ये जो छह साल पूरे वो एक जो साल उनके पास और पड़ा रहा वो इंक्लूड मेरा छह साल करेंगे कि नहीं तो मैं इनडेफिनेट के लिए कब अप्लाई कर सकता हूँ अभी जो मुझे लीव मिली in 2015, I have 6 years of work. Do you want to apply for 3 years? Yes, yes. So, in 2013, I have got 3 years of work. You have told me that? Yes. Okay, we understand. Thank you for your question. You will watch the program. Thank you, Mama Saab, for your call. Thank you. Again, obviously, we are just going to go back to the camera question. Maybe the call is going to be able to because they have been on wait as well. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, welcome to the program. Who, uh, who's calling? Can we have your uh, name, please? My name is Mia. Okay, and um, can we have your question, Ms. Mia? Um, basically, my question is, uh, my husband and me got married in 2007. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he, basically, he had a wife before me because he got married to me. I was at UK, the resident, and he was from Pakistan. Yeah. But he'd got divorced from his first wife right right but when he went back when he got married to me in 2007 we came back here but then he went on a holiday yeah his family told him to go back to his first wife and then he got remarried to in 2010 right okay okay after that right he got two children okay uh from his uh second well his wife in pakistan he's got two children from uh 
Now our house is not very good. Yeah. Now he'd like to bring his children over here. Right. And where were the children born? In Pakistan? They were born in Pakistan, yeah. Okay. Right, okay. And so you're, you're his immediate wife at the moment, yeah? Uh, well, he's got two wives, basically, but I would do, do me. She was his previous wife. Okay, so what's your status now, uh, Maria? I'm do British. I was born British. Are, are you still married to him? I'm still married to him, yes. Right, that's a question we wanted to know. Okay, fine, thank you. And he's got another wife in Pakistan. And he's got two children from there. And he basically wants to know whether you can bring him over. Yeah, we've got we've yeah. got your question. Thank you very much for putting your question to us, and we'll try mm -hmm. to answer you in this program. Okay, thank you for right. calling. Thank you. Very right. good. Thank Keep you. watching bye. program. Okay, bye. Um, obviously, Shade, uh, we've got a number of calls. Uh, let's just quickly, Damran Sab got your call. He let's just go straight into that one straight away. And um, he got refused, and then um, we were just saying, "Okay, question got no Torah zone and a good job." Then I give Coach Kari. Will you mention about that? Yeah, that's right. What he said was that um, he's. Uh, obviously received the letter of refusal he's looked at the yeah. objections and he's tried to uh, address some of those objections and put an application for reconsideration mm -hmm. so he needs to wait to hear from it before he'd be in a position to yeah. decide what is the uh, right way forward yeah. yeah i think cameron should hum cameron ko yehi kahenge tha wo hame contact kare so that hum unko mazid unki information jo li hai unka hum help kar sakte hain mere colleague ne bhi mention kare would like to help you cameron so do give us a call uh email hame bheje ek roj she call and she says you know mm. spouse visa husband user yes. and um, now the, the one of the questions here about ikra was that yes now it came in 2010 yeah now obviously them days it was in the pr in the old rules the old rules yeah now and she said she got used now he's already got to stay now it depends on ikra how if that is a fraudulently she thinks it's been done in mm. a in a in a wrongful manner mm. so, so she certainly she had the time to p complain to the ukb border agency yes during yeah. that period that's right yeah I mean so why did she leave it too late Ikra, I, mean, I can't understand about Ikra, is yeah that? is it very briefly i know with time short there, i'm trying to squeeze it in at the moment sorry right. about that yeah i mean like like you said that uh if if there was something which is not quite right she should have tried to object to it at that time not leaving it as late as she has okay. i'm a shy sorry to interrupt you but a core international area of some ladies and jaldi say because time goes it will be hello g hello. Hello. TV ke Aap, you're on air. Thank you very much for your call. Aap, aap naam batayin, question batayin. Hello? Aap on air hai. TV Hello? Hello? Thank you. We can hear you. Aap, aap batayin, Hello? 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 So, I have been to the airport and I have been to the Manchester airport. I have been to the airport and 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 I have been to the कुछ आपके समझ नहीं आपका नाम नहीं समझ आ रहा है फिर से बताएं कनीस फातमा नाम है मेरा कनीस फातमा ओके थैंक यू अच्छा आपकी शादी हो चुकी है आप वापस आना चाहती हैं कनीस फातमा जी जी आपका ठीक है हमने आपका क्वेश्चन ले लिया है और आपका नाम भी लिख लिया है शुक्रिया हेलो चले गए कॉल थैंक यू फॉर दैट जी शायद एक रक्त हम यही कह रहे हैं इंसान शी शुड हैव बेसिकली मेड सम रिप्रेजेंटेशन टू द यूके बी बोर्ड एजेंसी एट द टाइम एट द टाइम एंड इवन नाउ शी वांट्स टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट शी कैन गेट द रेलेवेंट इनफॉरमेशन दैट दिस वाज डन फॉर हिम टू कम फॉर इस बेसिकली टू गेट एंट्री टू यूनाइट किंग really right to the UKB yeah but it's, it's for the home office or UKB yeah for to decide now yeah decide yeah but she's really left a little late yes so Ikra um you've left a little late but however if you have if you have got Ikra if you have got some some previous uh reports where you have not mentioned to the police or you made a complaint to your social worker trying to gather that and write a letter to him it looks difficult at the moment because he's already got to stay now and it was done in the year 2010 before the rules changed moving on quickly to muhammad arun and uh, shahid um got the eye allowed uncle teen salga on a then again he's got another three years mm. and he just wants to know about what's going to happen about his indefinite leave to remain well normally if you've been lawfully resident here for 
a minimum of five years, then you are eligible for ILR. We need to know what's the background. Yeah. Yeah. Why was he given three years and three years? You know, mm. is it discretionary leave? Uh, and if obviously under the new rules, if you've been on discretionary leave, you have to wait up to ten years. I think this is exactly the category I think he might be yeah. falling into without him alluded yeah. with that question. Up there, um, up Muhammad If you're watching a program, what we're going to say to you? Obviously, we don't know your full circumstances of what uh, basis you were granted uh, indefinite leave to remain. Uh, if you'd like to contact us, we'll be more than happy to help you. But like my colleagues mentioned, that it probably was a discretion leave. We don't know the hard facts, but if you likely to, uh, if you provide us them details, we'll be able to then give you better advice on that one. So thank you for your call, Mia, who got married in 2007. Husband got married married before in Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, left his wife, then got remarried, went back to his yeah. first wife. He's got two children. Yeah. There's a situation. Is a uh, obviously he will try to claim them as his. Uh, as his yeah. Children. I mean, they'll have to prove, uh, you know, DNA test to yeah. establish that they are genuinely the the the, the children of the uh, yeah. this lady's husband but apart from that he'll have to show that he can financially support those two children so if he's on benefit yeah and if he wants to bring them then obviously it's the income threshold the the one of the problems he has got he's got because he's married to this lady Maria Ma yeah. yeah. she's in seven yes and then sh he got divorced then yeah. got remarried yes so the British well, that, that, that is that is a, a different is that issue exactly. completely yeah that that's obviously that is something keep that in mind uh, yes that is uh, if you purely look at on on the facts as they are there is no recognition there's no bar on in 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 law for for him to actually bring his children mm. be it from previous marriage or even if they are you know second legitimate marriage. or second marriage there yeah. there's no restriction as long as he can financially support them yeah i think the question for him will be clearly what is his uh, what his position is at the moment yeah and also if he's on obviously benefit himself then that becomes uh, virtually impossible yeah. for him and also the fact that um if his wife is, uh, is is living with at the moment, and th th what kind of marriage they're in, and uh, the age right, of the yeah. child, children, That's obviously right. there must be young children. Yes. Now, if it is M Ms. Mia is watching a program, you called us uh, before you know, in the program about 10, 15 minutes ago. But if you like us to give you further advice, please do take a note of our email address, which was on the screen earlier on, and we will be more than happy to help you. And um, I think we're just going to run out of all these because we've had a number of emails coming through and calls and some of we were unable to take because of the um, program as it says only for an hour. So Logan's up there, Joe, views in the Unse Matra, Karte, I'm up, calls, balls, sorry, drop, hold you in the up again, I'm a try, Karte, I agree, program and link, contact, host, Karte, up, I'm email, because I think we'll be more than happy to give you answers via email. But inshallah, I'm a gig at your program, I'm going to maybe join it. But we've still got a few minutes. Let's just talk about. We just mentioned that clearly about the entrepreneurial. I'm not mentioning Karada. Now those people want to set the business up. Now the criteria was quite clearly: you need a fifty thousand pounds of your own money. Let's just talk about next program, and we'll discuss that a bit further. Yeah, it's actually fifty thousand if you're already in the country. In in country, that's right. You in were country, and yeah. you're switching to tier one. Yeah. Uh, and even that, the rules have changed now. Uh, you know, you can't uh, rely yeah. on venture capital. It has That's to right. be uh, UK trade. Shall I quickly call a little last and final one? Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just going back, I would just question out Kanizka, Kaniz Fatima from Pakistan. She had very quickly. She was uh, banned from the United Kingdom for 10 years. She came on a visitor. She, she said came on, on a different, a uh, different identity, identity. And obviously, she's been banned for 10 years to visit the UK. But yeah. if she is, as she's saying, uh, been married while she's been here, then yeah. it's down to her spouse to make a spouse application. And... Uh, if they meet all the criteria for a spouse visa, then even though she has been banned, uh, a new application, naive, yeah. a fresh yeah. application. अपने कनीस फांसमा के हम ये ये कह सकते हैं दैट ऑब्वियसली उनके हस्बैंड को थोड़ा सा कॉपरेट करना पड़ेगा इनके बारे में तो वो अपनी वाइफ को बुलवाना चाहते हैं एंड सो इम्पोर्टेंटली जैसे मेरे कॉलेज ने भी मेंशन करा है तो वो फाइनेंशियल रिक्वायरमेंट्स या उनकी जो भी सिचुएशन होगी वो उनको हाईलाइट करना पड़ेगा 
and, um, and she needs to know what category she came in would like to come back because previously were visited by Aunty. Yes, she came as a visitor, but she's saying that subsequently she got married. Yeah. So if she's got the evidence of the marriage, the marriage. then that's what needs to be submitted. So the fresh application. Kanish Fatima, thank you for your call. Aap ye zaroor note kare apne husband se baat kare. Aapki shadi hoyi thi, toh aap shadi ki jo documentation hai, wo leke apne husband se jo UK mein unse request kare, toh wo ek fresh application dalen. Or let's say hopefully inshallah aapka fir kida pasta aap hamse zaroor kam contact mere. We'll be more than happy to help you. Um, very quickly, just so just received this call about the spouse visa. So we've been throughout the program. We've been mentioning about this, and this is our topical uh, discussion on this program. That the eighteen thousand six hundred is the financial requirement as it stands, and there's been no change whatsoever. It went to the court of appeal, and it was upheld. So th the UKBA border agency and the Home Office have actually had their say, and it's up been uh, upheld by the government, by the courts, as it were. But just in the program, we did mention the program. There is a possibility it might be going to Supreme Court for uh, Court of um, Supreme Court as to challenge this uh, decision, but that will take probably six to nine months, so we don't know what the outcome. But as it stands, it's still going to be eighteen thousand six hundred pounds. And is there anything else uh, you'd like to add on to that? No, no, you've covered everything. Yeah, uh, but our views and seeking, we actually run out of time now. And um, agar aap hume contact karna cha rahe hain, and again calls are being coming. Inshallah, we'll carry on to give explanations and advice on legal and immigration and representation. Aap hamare uh, email address pe bhi hume contact kar sakte hain. Hum emails bhi jawab denge. Or inshallah, the next program mein we will talk about the entrepreneurial visa, business visas. And um, aindakhe pe hume jaza de. Thank you for watching Legal Matters and keep watching Hidayat.